welcome back to my channel. So it's getting closer to Valentine's Day, so I have the next two weeks are going to be Valentine's Day related content. I know Valentine's Day gets a lot of hate and I understand why it's very commercial, but at the same time, I think that especially with the year that we've just had, everyone could use a day just dedicated to celebrating love. And it doesn't have to be love of a significant other. If you do have a significant other, that's great, but Valentine's Day could be you celebrating your love for your friends, for your family, or for yourself. And what better way to show yourself a little bit of self-love with a self-care haul from Lush. So I ordered a bunch of stuff from Lush's Valentine's Day collection, and I'm gonna be unboxing it and reviewing it for you today on my channel. So without further ado, let's start opening this up. All right, so I've got it open now. I've noticed recently they've been using a lot more of these little um, cornstarch things, which is good because that means stuff inside is less likely to break. So let me dig through and see what I can find. Okay, so this is the first thing that I found in the bag. If I remember correctly, I ordered a lot of bath bombs from this haul. Okay, so this is the first bath bomb that I opened. I love this. So this is called Tisty Tosty Bath Bomb. And this was probably the bath bomb I was most excited for because it just looked the most relaxing. It's this white bath bomb, so it's not gonna make any super pretty bath art or anything like that, but it has the most gorgeous little flower petals in it. So I feel like this is just gonna be a nice one when I want to really unwind after a day of online classes and stuff like that. It smells nice, this is a really fresh scent and very florally with a hint of citrus. That's what I'm getting from this one. I'm actually not sure what's in these bath bombs. I probably should have checked before I started filming, but it's very fresh, florally and citrusy if I were to describe this. Okay, so this is the next bath bomb that I found in the box. This is called the Love Me Do bath bomb. This is really similar to the deep sleep bath bomb that Lush sells. Instead of purple, it's pink. If you've never had one of these bath bombs before, don't take it out of the wrap. The reason why they put it in the wrap is because there's lots of stuff inside and it will make a mess of your bath. So there's like flowers and stuff like that. You don't want this going everywhere. So word to the wise, be aware of that. Mm, so this one's really different from the last one. I would say that the Tisty Tosty bath bomb was more of a rose scent, whereas this one is more like jasmine in my opinion. It's also supposed to have orange in it, which honestly I'm not really picking up. I'm getting an overwhelming jasmine scent from this one. So if you don't like jasmine, this probably isn't the one for you. Personally, I don't mind jasmine, so I think I'm still going to enjoy this one. And yeah, it's, it's a very florally scent. Like this isn't no citrus, nothing like that. To me, this is all floral. Okay, the next thing that I picked up is this massage bar. This is the Rose Argan massage bar. Mm, so I love this. This is the same scent as Rose Jam, if you've had anything in that family. And if you haven't, it's a very sweet rose scent. I really love this one. It's actually not unlike Tisty Tosty. They're not the same scent, but they are very similar. I would say Tisty Tosty is a little bit more on the fresh citrusy side, whereas this is more of a sweet rose. Now, I normally don't get their massage bars just because I find them very oily to use as actual lotion. But what I've been doing recently is I've been using them as body butters in the shower and I love that. And this one just screamed my name. It's really cute. It's pink. It reminded me of like Beauty and the Beast, doesn't it? Oh, I love it. And they've updated them all to say like Lush on the side. They're really cute and I'm really, really excited to use this. It's melting in my hand, so it's definitely gonna be moisturizing. And yeah, I'm really excited for this one. Okay, this one's big and it's kind of crumbling, so I'm not gonna take it out of the package, but this is the Love Locket bath bomb. It is huge, you guys, so it did cost a little bit more, but honestly, that's okay with me because you can get up to three baths out of this bath bomb. So it comes with this, first this yellow one, which is removable, so you can use it as one bath. And then inside, it's got all kinds of little hearts and stuff like that in different colors. So you can use that as a second one, and then you can obviously use the pink shell as a third bath bomb, or if you're feeling like you really wanna treat yourself, then you can just throw this whole thing in. <laughs> I'm not sure if I would do that. I'll probably try to make the most out of it just because it was a little bit on the pricier side, but I do love that you really get your money's worth with stuff like this. So this one is supposed to smell just like the comforter, which is like a black currant, a sweet black currant scent if you've never had it before. 
and it's really nice. It's definitely just a classic go-to scent, so I think I'm really gonna enjoy this one. You know, I used to think that the Christmas Lush Collection was my favorite release of the year, but I'm really starting to doubt myself just because I really love Valentine's Day. Like, I love the release that they do because everything's just so me. It's all pink and hearts and fun and princessy, and I love it. Speaking of very me, this is the next bath bomb here. This is the Heartbeat bath bomb, and this is again scented just like Rose Jam. Mmm, I love it. So it's got these three hearts on it, so it's super cute, and they have like gold glitter on them, so this is gonna make pretty bath art. And I believe these hearts are actually made out of cocoa butter as well, so it's gonna be super moisturizing on the skin, which is great for winter months that we're in now. So I'm super excited for this, and honestly, I used to not like this scent, but it's been growing on me so much, and I think it's one of my favorite scents from Lush now. I would definitely say that it is. Like, it's so nice. I love it. And I'm really excited that I get to use this because they had the Black Rose bath bomb that was Rose Jam scented for a while, but that one was kind of really messy because it was a black bath bomb. So I'm happy to have this. Okay, so this next one, they actually bring it out every year, but I've never gotten it before until this year. It's the Love Boat bath bomb. So this is so, so cute. If you can't see, it's got a little heart on the front of the boat. It's got these beautiful pink and blues and yellows at the bottom. I also think it's got, these are popping candy. So that makes it a really, really fun bath. And when you put this in the water, it's supposed to look like an actual boat, I think. So it'll start fizzing from the back and making it go around, which is just so, so fun. Mm, and I love the smell of this one, you guys. It's super citrusy. I'm picking up like lemons and oranges. And that's like, I love citrusy scents. Those are probably my favorite next to Rose Jam or maybe they're tied. I don't even know, but Mmm, it's so delicious and this one is just gonna be so much fun I don't know if I've had a bath bomb with popping candy in it before if I have I don't remember but that's really interesting This is gonna be so much fun, but you guys that's everything that I ordered for this Valentine's Day haul I hope that you enjoyed it And if you did please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn those notifications on because next week's video is gonna be super fun and Exciting you won't want to miss it. Let me know down below in the comment section what your favorite Valentine's Day product is from Lush I would love to know I think my favorite would probably have to be the Rose Argan Massage Bar or Tisty Tosty. It's a toss up between those two. I really love both of them and I want to know your thoughts as well. But you guys, I really hope that you do have a wonderful Valentine's Day. It's one of my favorite holidays and I think that we should all just try to practice love. I, I love that we have a whole holiday dedicated to it and I think we should stop knocking it so much, you know? All of our holidays are a little bit more on the commercial side nowadays. That's just how it is. But that's no reason to not celebrate no matter who you are or who's in your life. Just celebrate the people around you and yourself. But I will see you all in my next video. Bye!